we approached um, a few hundred people within our cohort and asked them if they wanted to, to work with us to try and understand the impacts of the pandemic, the restrictions, and, and they also gave us permission to, um, to, to come back to them, ask questions over time. So we've been able to track how the COVID pandemic has impacted and we've gone back two or three times now. We've got aspirations to track people over time. And we thought this was a really important compliment because there have been rows of really important surveys that have taken place during COVID. So some very clever people, researchers, very quickly set up online um, data collection systems to try and track the impact of COVID in the broader population. And our concern is that people with the most severe forms of mental ill health don't necessarily sign up to these voluntary population surveys. So we really imp we thought it was really important that the voice of people with severe mental ill health was heard in terms of thinking about the pandemic and how that's impacted on certain sections of the population. So we very much saw that as a complement to these important, very large population surveys, but um, which were not necessarily click applicable to the experiences of people with severe mental ill health. So there are, there are there are different levels of, of involvement within within the IELTS study. I mean, I'm I'm one of the co-investigators on the study, so I'm I'm bringing that perspective along with um, working along with colleagues from academic backgrounds, from NHS backgrounds, so that we bring those those different aspects to design. We also have a what we call the Leap the Lived Experience Advisory Panel, and you know. Questions for the study, for example, are, are run past that panel. So they are, they are coming up with some of the questions. They're coming up with the issues that lead to the questions from their lived experience. We are, we're testing surveys out with them first has been very useful in, in just helping to redesign things and design, design things properly in the first place. 